In the vocabulary section, our first item is actually two words. It is a phrasal verb. Soak into. What is a phrasal verb? A verb plus a preposition. So verb plus preposition is a phrasal verb. And English has a lot of phrasal verbs that、uh, correspond to a certain specific idea. In this case, we have soak into. Right? You could just say soak, but into kind of gives it a more special meaning. It means for a liquid to move into something and make it wet. So if it's raining and the water soaks into your clothes, then you are thoroughly wet. It's not good. It's miserable, right? So soak into for a liquid to move into something and make it completely wet with that liquid. Okay. Next we have another phrasal verb. Wow, <laughs> this lesson has many phrasal verbs. Here we have wear away. So wear is our verb. Away is the preposition. Wear away. Wear away means to cause something to become thinner, smaller, or weaker over time. So really, everything wears away, right? If you have a a, a toy, for example, and there's a new paint job on the toy, so the paint is shiny and new at the beginning, but over time, as you leave your toy out in the sun, or maybe it gets wet, or as you play with it, it rubs up against the walls of your room, or、uh, the carpet, or the floor of your room, and over time, you know, the paint wears away; it becomes thinner. It becomes weaker, and sometimes the paint will wear away completely, and then you can see the metal underneath the paint. By the way, most phrasal verbs in English, preposition plus, I mean, sorry,、uh, verb plus preposition, have another more formal word that corresponds to them. And I should mention it for this word: wear away has a more scientific word that we. Usually use it's very common, and that is erode. It's one word, erode. And from erode, that's a verb. We get the noun erosion, and that's exactly what we are talking about in this unit. When we talk about wind, water, other forces acting on, for example, rocks. And the rocks over time they fall down, they become smaller, they become weaker, or the rock layer becomes thinner. We call that erosion. That process is called erosion, and we can say the rocks erode. But it means that they wear away. All similar ideas. Okay, good. Next we have glacier. Now glacier is a noun, right? Glacier is a large body of ice. That moves slowly over land. Did you know that about ten thousand years ago,、uh, before ten thousand years ago, most of the Earth was covered with ice. There were huge glaciers covering large surfaces of the Earth. And of course, this ice moved very slowly. Of course, if the ice forms up high in the mountains, it will slowly move downwards、uh, because of gravity, obviously. And as it moves, it might carve. It actually pushes rock out of the way. And so, glaciers are very important. Nowadays, it glaciers are becoming harder. And harder to find because the Earth is getting warmer year by year. So there are glaciers, for example, in the Alps in Europe, but these glaciers are getting smaller. There are glaciers in the Rocky Mountains in northern America, and also many in Canada. And of course, if you go to Alaska, you can see glaciers next to the ocean. But these glaciers are getting smaller and smaller every year as it gets warmer. Next, we have earthquake. I hope you live in an area that does not have many earthquakes. But an earthquake. This is the after effect of an earthquake. An earthquake is the shaking of the ground caused by the Earth's crust moving. The Earth's crust. Now, 
in the previous lesson, we talked about the three parts of the earth, right? Crust, mantle, and core. And we said that the continents on the crust is moving very slowly. It's moving very slowly, sure, but it does move. And what happens is when the earth's crust moves, right, it might hit another part of the earth's crust. There's many cracks in the earth's crust. And sometimes the earth the one crust will go down underneath one, or it might go over another one. Or sometimes they butt up against each other and do this. That's how the Himalayas were formed between India and China, because two parts of the Earth's surface were moving very slowly, but they're moving up against each other. And that's why the land is so high there. So anyway, sometimes when the earth, you know, whether it's moving under or over, sometimes it gets stuck, right? Because it's rock, right? It's not smooth. It doesn't smoothly go over each other, but it will stick. And for many years, that pressure is building up, right? All this other rock is moving behind it and it's just stuck because, you know, some parts don't move together very well. And then all of a sudden that pressure is so much that something breaks and then that causes a big shock wave especially at that area, and that shock wave is called an earthquake. And that's why it causes a lot of damage in certain areas. Okay, but that's an earthquake. Okay. Volcano is another interesting feature. Remember again, we talked about the crust, the mantle, and the core. Now, in the crust of the earth is very deep usually, but in some parts of the, of the earth, the crust is thin, and the mantle is relatively close to the surface of the earth. Now, remember we talked about the mantle. It's very hot in the mantle, and part of the mantle is liquid rock. Now, that liquid rock is under a lot of pressure, and that pressure wants to be relieved. So, if it finds a way to come up through the crust of the earth's surface, that will form a volcano, and a volcano is basically a mountain which lava can come out of. Remember in the previous lesson, I said lava is molten or melted rock. It's rock that is liquid. It's very hot. And this is a typical shape of a volcano. Usually it has a flat top because inside there's a crater and there are many cracks that the lava can come up. And you see the smoke because it's so hot, right? So that it creates smoke. And when it, when it erupts, lava comes out. Landform. Landform is a natural shape on the Earth's surface. So if you go to certain parts of the world, like the American West or certain parts of deserts in China, you can see some very interesting uh, patterns in the rock. Look at this. This looks strange, doesn't it? It looks like somebody, you know, the flat Earth somehow got tilted. How did that happen? Well, remember when we talked about, you know, I gave you the example of two parts of the crust hitting each other and rising up and forming the Himalayas. Well, that pressure is enough to make the flat rock turn up like that. And then when water or the rock erodes or washes away, we can see the different layers of the soil that once were flat are now like this. And you can see that's a very interesting uh, part of geology the study of the earth. And so you can see that uh, in many places in the world, especially dry places where the bushes and the trees and the grass don't cover the ground or the dirt, you can see it very easily. Okay. Next we have a landslide. Now landslides are disasters, right? This is when a large amount of rocks fall down a mountain or a slope. So again, you know, our earth is very big. There's a lot of pressures uh, on the crust of the earth. And as, you know, a mountain uh, which is made of rock or dirt, over time, right, things wash away. Things erode. Things get weaker. So the support that's holding rocks and dirt on a mountain, on a mountain slope, that support might wear away. And then all of a sudden those rocks or whatever it is, will fall, and that's a landslide. It could be mud, too. If there's a lot of rain, the, the dirt becomes very wet. It has a lot of water in it. It becomes heavier. If it's on a slope, of course, it gets heavier. It might suddenly fall down, and if there's a village or town down below, that is a terrible disaster. Sometimes we read about those in the news. Next, we have erupt. I mentioned that earlier. Erupt is like an explosion, right? There, eruption. Oh, uh, erupt is the 
verb, eruption is the noun, eruption. So when a volcano erupts, we call that an eruption. It's when the lava and the very hot、uh, molten rocks, and rocks of course are also forced out of a volcano because of all that pressure in the mantle, all that heat comes up to the surface and sometimes it comes out very violently with a lot of force and that of course is an eruption. We have a video of that.、Uh, check this video out. This is a video of a volcano erupting. Look at how much power there is. Let's take a look. So, look, it's, it's kind of looks like slow motion, but the, we don't really see the lava or the rocks. What we do see is a lot of ash and a lot of smoke. And by the way, that can be very deadly. So, if there is a volcano in the area,、uh, you have to worry about a lot of different things. You don't want to be caught in that ash because it's very hot. It could burn your lungs. Also, if you're caught in it, there's not enough oxygen to breathe, so you could. You know, you could die because you don't get enough oxygen. And of course, it's very hot. There's hot rocks being thrown out of it. There's a lot of lava coming out of it. It's a very dangerous situation. A very famous eruption in history、uh, was the eruption over Pompeii, an ancient Roman city. And that eruption happened so fast and the lava came down so quickly that people died when they were running away. From the volcano. And many people just died in their homes.、Uh, they were just overcome by the fumes. And now it's a very famous archaeological site. But that's also, so volcanoes are, are very、uh, terrible disasters, but they have also been present in human history for a long time. Okay, lava. We've talked about lava several times already. So here we have the word lava is hot liquid, liquid rock. It's rock. That is a liquid. Imagine that. It has to be really, really hot for rock to turn into a liquid. And you can see the liquid here. It's red and there's a lot of steam coming off it because any moisture in the air that touches that, it turns into steam right away. It's very hot. And in fact, you can see lava flows. You can see lava flows. That's what we call them. This is a lava flow. You can see lava flows sometimes in Hawaii. It's kind of a tourist attraction. Some people go to Hawaii because Hawaii has many volcanoes and the lava flows go down to the ocean and they create a lot of steam. It's a very amazing sight. So, anyway, lava is a hot liquid that comes out of a volcano. Okay, those are our words for the lesson. Let's continue. Lesson 7 Changes on Earth. Soak into. For a liquid to move into something and make it wet, wear away. To cause something to become thinner, smaller, or weaker. Glacier. A large body of ice that moves slowly over land. Earthquake. The shaking of the ground caused by Earth's crust moving. Volcano. A mountain which lava can come out of. Landform. A natural shape on Earth's surface. Landslide. A large amount of rocks falling down a mountain or slope. Erupt. For lava and rocks to be forced out of a volcano. Lava. Hot liquid rock that comes out of a volcano.